Fighting radicalization has become crucial to stopping ISIS from recruiting Americans. One America's Vanessa Bassi has more on what is being done to stop the problem. Every time you turn on the television, there seems to be another terror attack, and ISIS often claims responsibility for it. The only thing that is surprising about it these days is when the ISIS member who carried out the attack was actually born in the U.S. Incidents like this are becoming more frequent and are a reminder of how important counter-radicalization programs are to the safety of America and our allies. Americans of all ages continue to be inspired to commit attacks here in the U.S. by terrorist recruiters who are thousands of miles away through the use of cyberspace. Since 2009, most attacks which have occurred on U.S. soil have been carried out by Americans who were radicalized by ISIS and al-Qaeda. The 2015 office party attack in San Bernardino, California, and the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando are both recent examples of this tactic, as both were carried out by newly radicalized followers. Also, the U.S. government estimated in 2016 approximately 250 Americans had traveled or attempted to travel abroad to support terrorist operations. And the FBI also indicted 10 extremists in the first three months of 2017. But how does ISIS turn Americans against the U.S.? Savvy recruiters online target people of all races and religions who have been exposed to trauma and violence or have mental health issues. But what can we do to stop this? The Department of Homeland Security's Office of Community Partnerships and the Department of State's Global Engagement Center are leading the fight against radicalization. Congress must also continue to support public messaging campaigns to counteract terrorist propaganda by using their own weapon of social media against them. Officials say the State Department should also increase international partnership with our allies as well and create a special council to organize these efforts. Vanessa Bassi, One America News.